maybe early next year. But in the meantime, Donier has other concerns. In front of him, the South African. who comes here to Las Vegas first fight out of South Africa. As we see in Thelani, Marudi and Thelani, Nonito Donaire, Taylor of Tape for you, Rich. All right, as we take a look at the two and their, their stats coming into the fight, the natural physical advantages as you go down the list there all belong to Nonito Donaire. Not dramatically, the slight physical advantages in every category. The rules are the unified uh, rules, and remember this is a world championship fight, so a fighter can't be served by the bell in any round. No three knockdown rule, only the referee can stop the fight. And if there's an accidental foul that causes a stoppage of the fight, we'll go to the uh, scorecards at the end of four rounds. Other than that, it's no go. Well, we're really rolling here in Las Vegas. Exciting action. We saw yeah, some brisk action in every yeah, fight. Yeah, very early uh, a stoppage in a pro debut from Matt Korobov, the Russian Olympian who turned pro tonight impressively, getting the stoppage, the middleweight. Lamont Peterson was pressed by a gutsy Leonardo Tyner. Got his win to stay undefeated and stay on the rails for his title shot perhaps next year. And we just watched Jorge Arce survive a few shaky, not necessarily extremely dangerous moments against an absolutely game former champion Isidro Garcia to close it out inside four. Waiting here, Mandalay Bay Event Center and the South African, the big thing here, you know, his mental preparation, his first fight outside of South Africa. You know, Nick Durant, his trainer, told us yesterday, Rich and Gennaro, what do you know about so far being out of South Africa? He said, the room is very nice. <laughs> you know, they, they don't want any distractions. He's got a lockdown mentally that he's out of South, he's a guy out of Africa and a world title at stake tonight. And sometimes these fighters surprise over here in America. Uh, but no matter who it is, it always seems like Nick Durant is walking right behind him. He really him. is, man. He is a, he's got some hard bark on him. Look at him in the toughest neighborhood in a tough city in Johannesburg, South Africa. His gym, he's produced many of the world champions. You know, he said that M. Thelani sparred 400 rounds, Gennaro, for this fight. That's unheard of. It's I like incomprehensible. That. I like you that. like it. Yeah. That's you because you use you're still at fighting weight you're 41 years old <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I like that he's he's boxing so much because the punching back does not hit you back that's true well where maybe you, not where you where are you going to get the best defense when somebody's hitting you back you got to learn how to defend yourself ibf uh, number one wba number five 112 pounds seven year pro marudi and Thalani coming off a career best intense win over the rugged Hussein Hussein in the IBF Eliminator to earn this title shot tonight here on Final Impact against Nonito Donaire. Here we go, let's go. Now the Philippines are in the house. It's Nonito Donaire. This is one of the loveliest kids in boxing right here. He wow. is such a nice young man. Whole family, his dad trained him. You know, and you wonder, I mean, the guy wins a world title. His dad, the only fighters he trains, Bonito and his brother, Glenn. And you're right, uh, Rich. Gosh, the dedication, and he's such a thinking fighter. He, he really, really, every fight I've ever watched him in, ringside, knows how to break down a guy, time, look at his pace. He's just an excellent, complete, complete fighter. And as we know, he's got crushing one-punch power, doesn't he? Well, he showed that to Victor Chinny, and that is for absolutely sure. That, that was, was a sensational win of the championship. And after which he was honored after 2007 as both the upset of the year and Ring, knockout yeah, of the Ring year. Ring Magazine, KO and upset of 2007. His only title defense in, since the eighth-round stoppage last December against Luis Maldonado. So that's the setup story here. Nonito Donaire in his second title defense takes on Maruti Empelani. Let's meet them officially and go up to Lupi Contreras. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our next bout of the evening set for 12 rounds of boxing for the IBF Flyweight Championship of the World. 
Damas y caballeros, este combate pactado a 12 asaltos por el campeonato mundial Peso Mosca de la FIB. Once again, being brought to you by Bob Arum's Top Rank Incorporated in association with the Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino Tecate. Cerveza con carácter and affliction. Supervising, supervisor, David McCullough. The judges are, los jueces son, Adelaide Bird, Robert Hoyle, y Michael Pernick. El referee, fair but firm, Joe Cortez. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presentando en la esquina azul. Sube al cuadrilátero vestido de blanco con rojo y verde. He steps into the ring wearing white trimmed in yeah. red and green. Su peso oficial, 111 libras. His official weight, 111 pounds. Su record profesional, 22 victorias con solo una derrota y 15 de sus victorias a través de knockout. His professional record, 22 victories with one lone defeat and 15 of his victories coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Durban, Republic of South Africa, Moruti, Babyface Ntalane. His opponent in the red corner, su rival en la esquina roja. He steps into the ring wearing white trimmed in red. Sube al cuadrilátero vestido de blanco con color rojo. Detuvo la báscula, un peso oficial de 112 libras. He tipped the scales at an official 112 pounds. Su récord profesional, 19 victorias, con solo una derrota y 12 de sus victorias a través de knockout as a professional. He has 19 victories with one lone defeat and 12 of those victories coming by way of knockout. Defending is IBF Flyweight Championship of the World. From General Santos City, the Philippines, the Filipino Flash, Nonito Donner. All right, gentlemen, we have all the rules in the dressing room. Trunks here are high. Punches here are still good. Over a good, clean fight. Remember, guys, I'm fair, but I'm firm. Touch them up. IBF Flyweight Championship on the line. And that's the man with the belt. That's the guy who wants it. Nonito had hoped to be much more active after he won the title from Victor Chin, and he hasn't fought in quite a while. Now, he said his blood was boiling for this fight. Let's see if it's red hot. Ooh, that's bad news for Mthalani. But I, he is such a great tactician. tactician. I, you know, besides the power, he could box or fight inside. He's just a quick, fluid fighter. But Mthalani is coming forward. Little peekaboo style. And that's something that he's going to have to do against Donair. He has to go in there and force the fight. Even though Donaire has power, you got to do something that you're most likely going to put yourself in. Yeah, and he's a shorter guy, so he's got to get inside. And Delani on the left, uh, Nonito Donaire, the world champion. Again, he'll crack Delani coming in, force him to back off, restart. But he is a real thinker again. He's figuring out distance, Donaire, pace. He's going to feel and see the speed of his opponent's punches. As you can see, he's quite big for this division. He is. And it seems like he'll be much more at home at 115 or 118 in the future. Down there, just reading. Oh, nice oh, counter punch as Emtalani got clipped with a left hand. That was a beautiful, beautiful shot. I think Emtalani looks a little tight to me here. Very in tight to one. me, Rich. Understandable. A little too much respect. I, you know, he, he actually got caught right there, and of course, that's going to make you and give him more respect when he felt that punch. Well, 12 long rounds, perhaps. So, Empalani trying to get rolling here, but he looks like he's taking his time. Whips a, a jab, tries a straight right hand, looking to open up the champion. Well, you know, unlike Victor Chinian, 
who had no respect really for normally until then, and still doesn't actually. Yeah. Well, I don't, think he knew, I don't think he knew what hit him, Rich. <laughs> I, I don't think he has respect he for still anybody. doesn't know. Yeah. He yeah. doesn't give no respect to nobody else. Yeah. But Emtilani and Nick Durant really expressed a lot of respect yesterday and today for, uh, for no need They to did, Rich. Yeah, they called him a complete fighter as well. He's pumping that jab now. Uh, just creating that space and catching Emtilani at times on the way in. Making the play here, getting off first. He hadn't been there to be, be hit. And a little step back. Very clever counter punching from Donaire in a cautious first round. Very good school fight. On, only his left hand is the one that kind of kind of makes it look kind of bad because he's leaving it down too much, and a, and a person with a good, quick right hand could actually hurt him. I think. Uh huh. He's looking to throw that short left hook from there. Oh boy. A conservative first round here as IBF flyweight champion Anito Donaire back in action. Five. As we go to his corner, his father's his trainer. We'll be speaking to God. Yo. Let kasi mo, Leo, nagyab siya, open siya kayo. Lean to the grid. Stop lang, stop lang. You lay. Yes, keep, keep outside, okay? That's it. That you're gonna do, don't get hit. If he's moving too much. Okay, let me go. Take small steps, small steps. Maybe side to side. Maybe side to side. Nick Durant previously brought Silence Mabuza here to fight Rafael Marquez for a world championship. Yes. I thought he had Mabuza really well prepared, and had he not met a Marquez really at the top of his game, might have emerged with, with the championship. Excellent point, Rich. Well, he was a man of few words in the corner, essentially saying shorten up and go side to side a little bit, but don't be reaching with that jab. Boy, Donair just looks like he's going to take that little half step back and run this guy into shots. Good overhand right right there by Madan. Yeah, and that's what he you would indicate in the last round, Gennaro, that he should be trying. Yeah, and you know, they, they are giving him the right instructions. Moretti should be utilizing hit upper body movement, try not to reach in. Once in a while, throw a fake to see what Donair's going to do. Maybe he might step back, or maybe he might drop that hand, or throw a shot, and you can counter off from that. Yeah, Donair certainly not under a lot of pressure. Now a little faint from uh, Babyface and Delani. He misses with a right at Whistles Pass, then Donaire punches with him. They throw hooks together. But Rich, you know, touch on what you said, Donaire looks so much stronger. Just the naturally bigger guy. He gets around that ring real nice, too. Real athletic. Oh, he's so forward. He's exactly. You know, after his win over Garchinian, he was honored. He met the president of the Philippines. It was a very moving uh, and you could tell emotional moment for him. Oh. And, he was honored by the Philippines as athlete of the year. Big stop, and that the South African got hit on the way in and on the way out. Yeah. He's walking in without punching, guys. Donner is doing very well in looking for those body shots. And there it is again as you speak. Good jam at that one. And Kalani's still coming on. And you know, Donner said, I'm gonna leave with my face a little bit. And I'll just beat him to the punch, but I'm going to counter him with power shots. Hey, guys, I want to just bring something to your attention as we watch Donaire here, and we've already seen Jorge Arce, and that is that Victor Chinian tonight knocked out Christian Mijares Ooh, in the wow. ninth round in, uh, in what was a mild upset, I guess, but to win all three, uh, to win three world championships. Uh, so Darchinian now is back at the top of back. the list again. Wow. Wow. Yeah. That is surprising news to me. Yeah, Maharis just seemed to have everything, and Darchinian seemed maybe one-dimensional. He changed all of that, getting the stoppage tonight and right to here. lift all three titles. And right here, Donaire is trying to maintain his title. Maybe three three of the four, I should say, right. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot going on at 112 and 115, oh, guys, boy. right now. <laughs> We've always thought so, haven't we, Rich? <laughs> That's where it. the action is. I would like to see Matalani throw a little more, more clutches, be a little more quicker with the shots. Good point. He gets wrapped in the kidneys. 
Now Donaire trying to open him up with right hands. Donaire, the champion, just whipping power shots in. And Thelani hanging with him a little. This is open. As long as you're not in the road, okay? Let him meet you in the, in the side of the ring. Then counter it. Speaking some English in the corner. Here's Nonito Donaire Sr. to his son, saying he'll take that step back as we talked about in counter. Nonito Donaire is living proof that not every Philippine fighter is trained by Freddie Rose. <laughs> And who, and who, I, who I believe also has a very good technical technical way of, of finding you know he has a very good style of fight I, I like the way he fights no question I agree I mean he, he makes that little jump to the to steps back makes his opponent fall short he counters very well he's he, looking to do it there and he's very aware of everything he, that's going to be coming to him yeah, he's looking to walk this to set him up for a right hand counter it looks like yeah there's that left Partially blocked by the South African overhand right by Empelani. Donaire whips a left that partially blocked, slams a left home. Gennaro, Donaire keeps his legs really pretty far wide spread, and he, he a lot of times he puts a lot of his weight on his back foot. Is that the dis is that the disadvantage for him? Or? No, it's not, a, it's not a disadvantage because what, what's happening there is he's kind of he's kind of balancing himself that way. If, Madalani actually throws or, or tries to reach him with the right, he can actually pull back and have balance and come back with a good power shot. So he's at, like you said, he's like using it as a spring forward, like a recoil kind of thing. Yes. Emphalani is trying to be aggressive, but it just isn't effective aggression. He really hasn't hit the mark much this, this round. And Nonito's just not letting him in the fight yet. Right. Air looking to land the overhand right, set him up with the jab. But he's finding a home with the hook at times. And he's throwing everything at the South African, actually. But very measured, he's not wasting much. Stuffs the jab. I think what's going on with Metalani is that he, he's too, too, too stiff. I mean, he's not letting his hands go. He doesn't seem loose. And in order for you to be in the air, you're going to have to let those hands go. You're not going to beat them by being stiff and walking forward. Yeah, he's got to make the champion uncomfortable. Slams an overhand right home there. Hook tried by Donaire. Now they're in the middle to see who turns who and who gets off first. Donaire out of danger. They punch together. Good stiff jab right there by yeah. the line. Overhand right by the champion. And and Kalani is standing in front of him. He can't get off at all. No. There's that hook. Man, when it hit Darchini and he went down like a tree. Interestingly enough, Nick Durant, the trainer of M. Talani, said he thought that the punching power of Donaire might be overrated. Yeah. But that one shot that he hit Darchinian with might have just been that perfect one-time shot. Interesting. And that's all you need. Yeah. We've completed three here. We go ahead to the fourth. And I want to tell you that coming up, Junior, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. is unbeaten, but not without controversy. Showered, uh, they showered the ring with whatever was available following his questionable win over Matt Benda. And that's why we are happy to say the two meet again four months later tonight. Him not. Stupid jabs. Look for a straight right instead of overhand right. And no shot. Stupid jabs. Look for the straight right. Bang. 
Seconds out. We go to the fourth. Nick Charles, Gennaro Hernandez, Rich Morata ringside here in Las Vegas. Mandalay Bay, happy you can join us tonight from wherever you're watching. It's a world title fight now, fourth round scheduled for the championship 12. Rudy Mfalani, the South African coming forward. Rich? And our copy box number for that last round, excuse me, Nick, I'm sorry. Uh, I, you know, you never believe it. That Donair landed 16 punches and Mfalani landed 15, but it, it didn't it seem like that. <laughs> like it was a one punch. And you know, the round before was like that as well. So, Gennaro, is the South African in the fight or not? Oh, he's, he's in the fight. I mean, he's not losing the rounds by a, a very large amount of... Uh, of punch and power, but you know, yeah, we see that Donaire is actually taking control of it, but Medellin is actually looking to fight. He's going in there, he's throwing some shots, he's landing some good shots as well, but I just think that his corner needs to tell him, oh, good right hand by Medellin right there. I, I just think that the corner should tell him, you know what, let your hands go a little more speed. Maybe he's starting to relax a little in there. And Talani. I'm starting to, to feel a little better. Because he look at see that combination indicates to me he's loosening up a little bit. Not quite as tight. You know, you're fighting for a world title, it's your first time out of the, out of your country, you know. It's I guess it's playing a part of pressure sure. of being in the big stage. He's getting to know a bit here, to Donair a bit in this round. He is. Donaire not as busy. Now he's trying to line him up with that overhand right hand and get on the jab once again and try to start boxing him. Now, right there, I think he's, you know, but the line should actually be counter punching. Yeah, when he's standing in front he's, of him. Yeah, Gennaro. he's not going to, like right there. Look at what Donaire is doing. He counters overhand right with a, with a left hook. Donaire's been hit a little bit in this fight. It's his second flyweight title defense. Now, Emtalani getting warmed up offensively. Donair actually yeah, softball. Yeah. Trying to confuse the African guy. Yeah, he's just caught with the jab and trying to set up that left hand this time. Now, right there, I would try to take advantage of this. The reason why, because Donair is not a softball. So his power is a right hand. Yeah. Could Donaire, in addition, think that, geez, things aren't going that good in this round. Maybe I'll change up here. Yeah. Trying to confuse him. Yeah, he's trying to, he's trying to utilize some confusion. But you don't think uh, he feels frustrated if things aren't working for him? All right, closing out a fourth round and a pretty good one for the South African. Nito Donaire, part of a fighting family. Not only his brother, but his wife. Watch her on the right. Ah, what a shooting. Oh, wow. <laughs> heel kick that was. Spinning yes. heel kick. And the opponent is not getting up. Here she is again. Can she counter punch? Can she take the lead? <laughs> and look at she gets right in her opponent's oh. face as after she knocks him down. <laughs> No, Nito's doing wow. Donaire's wife. There she is. Well, she doesn't look so tough there. Killer. <laughs> Rachel Killer Donaire. The two just got married this year. Well, we wish them all the best. Bang, bang. The steely, okay? Oh, man. Oh, that spinning heel kick hurt. It's Taekwondo, I guess. Aye. And no wonder Donaire's ability to reflect and get away from oh. those shots. Are yeah. Right well, no wonder he's on his, you know, he's, he's airing out his aggression here because I know who the Stone Cold boss of the family is. Well, I don't know. That's what I'm telling you. He must be, he must be trying to avoid those roundhouse <laughs> there kicks. There you go. <laughs> but no, he's a, they're both real nice people. They're really respectful. Uh, Donaire is actually in here doing his job. And actually, Medellin is actually imposing a little bit more in this fight. Yeah. Well, he there. loosened up in the last round, and in fact, our copy box numbers show that he out, he doubled uh, Donaire's punch output last year, uh, last round, 18 to 9. So would you give that? would probably I give him that him, round. I gave yeah. him the last round, yeah. Now, Antolani trying to stand and make a little bit of a war, but now he's getting on a jab really wild with the right hand. How technically sound is uh, Antolani to you? Technically, 
he needs a little more work, but uh, defensively, he's he's pretty good. His guard is up very well. He'll slip a shot here and there, but I would like to see a little bit more of that. Uh, I would like to also see him counter punch more. Something and, he's not doing at all. And the criticism you have of Donaire starts with that drop left hand. Doesn't Correct. And let me uh, just clarify that, that last round. I said 18 to nine. Not just the output, but he doubled the connects on him 18 to nine. Uh, that's, that's, I mean, the that's punches the land. Yeah. Donaire squares up in front. And Enthalani, and out of crowd, getting a little not upset. They just want more action. Maybe they want more out of Donaire, the champion. But, you know, they, they got to understand that, you know, you got a, a fighter in front of you who's strong, who's taking some pretty good shots, and is not going to give his victory away. Enthalani, by the way, became the number one contender. He's the mandatory challenger. Uh, Donaire is fulfilling his mandatory tonight. And he got there, Entelani, by defeating Hussein Hussein in a 12-round bout. Right. So he did beat a quality fighter to Absolutely. get here. Absolutely. That was... That's what got him here. Now he's looking to make the next move. And, you know, he's not a stepping stone name for Donair. He's the oh. number one contender who actually yes, claimed, he you know, he claimed his spot. Yes. Boy, Donaire, a little flat-footed, but perhaps thinking about plan B to box a little bit and get on that jab create some movement and angles but he's content to the stand in front of the South African and emtalani has been a little bit busier there Donaire sinks a right hand to the body letting his hands go but he's been very economical the champion not wasting anything and his punch output as Rich alluded to is on the low side. Nonito's kind of abandoned his jab. He's got to get back to work with that. Yeah, I was thinking he'd start to box him. Not a great round for the champion here. Closing the fifth. Well, the fans are booing, but let yeah. me just use some bad grammar. This is getting interestinger and interesting <laughs> in terms of the closeness and competitiveness of the fight. Relax, relax, relax. He's getting marked up now. Yeah, releasing the run. Releasing the run. Relax. Step it. Melanie. Six on. There you see it. Good ball, good ball, good ball. Get in, throw your punches. Relax. Very nice, very nice. Very nice. Pepper Mula, stay with you. Our judges for this two from Nevada, the very experienced Adelaide Bird, Robert Hoyle, and in from Florida, Michael Karnick. An exceptionally experienced world-class judge as well. As we hit the sixth and approach the halfway mark, a very competitive title fight. Yeah, and there comes out fighting as a softball. Yeah. I don't know what they saw to try to convince him to, to start off, and it, I, I guess that's just to confuse him. Because he hasn't been able to do anything. Good. That right hand, that left hand landed. He is just trying to line him up for that left. That jab's doing nothing. And the good right hand that uh, line actually landed as well. Yeah. And I think he has a cut on that left eye. And as Rich said, that uh, Donaire's roughed up a little bit, too, well yeah, on the temple. He's bruising both above and below the eye. There's a mouse developing under his right eye, and he's scratched above it. Yeah, Medellani has a cut in. I'm, th I'm thinking it's on the side of the nose somewhere. Well, look at that. Again, interesting. Remember, the champion's just, again, he's trying to set up that power left hand. That's the... One punch that knocked out Garchinian from the orthodox stance, of course. The point is, we know he has power. Now he's back orthodox in both hands. And now he's switched again. Boy, empalani has been ineffective halfway through this round. He's done nothing. Eyelid, look at it. It's over. It. That's it. It's over. Well, you picked it up, Rich. We didn't know it was that bad. And you heard the 
the doctors say you got to stop it. It's his eye rail. Well, you know, I know the fans don't like it, but the, <laughs> they had no choice. The doctor had no choice. And then Tawani had kind of worked his way back into the fight. It seemed to be loosening up. You know, too bad for him. And I, I think it's from the inside. Sorry, Rich, but I think it's from the inside because I don't see a cut on the outer part. Yeah. Well, nothing to be ashamed of. And I have to tell you, a disappointing title fight because inconclusive in a lot of ways. Joe Cortez, the referee, has come over to us here, Nick. And he has said that it was caused by a punch. Yeah, the inside eyelid, he said, to Rich said, very dangerous, so no question, this had to be stopped. But I got an inconclusive title defense for Benito Donaire. I mean, it wasn't, I didn't see him do anything terrible. I, 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 and maybe this guy is a guy who could fight for 20 rounds, Eftalani. I have a feeling he is. There's some emotion in the corner oh, of Eftalani. This was his big opportunity. And, you know, he fought better after the first uh, the first three rounds. He really just couldn't loosen up. And then he saw him just kind of relax a little bit and get into it. And he was doing much better in the fourth and the fifth round. But there he is still expressing some emotion now. He had expressed a very calm demeanor throughout the entire fight. Between rounds and Hanito Donaire, sportsman to the end. Nothing but praise for the vanquished challenger from the champion. And let me make clear again, that was a cut caused by a punch, not a headbutt, so we do not go to the scorecards here. It's a technical knockout victory for no neutral double. Excuse me for kind of interrupting you, but I don't understand how he got cut inside the eyelid. It's kind of an odd punch. Oh, it's another perfect punch, right? Here we see. Maybe we pick it up here. I believe this might be the uh, punch that might have caused it. I think when he was walking in, he jabbed in there, jabbed very well right there. Yeah, he's already touched the it eye. right there. That must have been it. Yeah, already there. rubbing the eye. That, right there. That jab might have when he came, when he was walking in. It's, it's kind of odd. I mean, you know, people don't see that because we don't even see the cut at the outside. It's obviously from the inside, so that's why the referee and the doctor claimed that it was a very dangerous cut. Oh, had to be stopped. And Lupe Contreras has the official word now. Ladies and gentlemen, after consulting with the ringside physician, referee Joe Cortez stops the bout due to a severe laceration over the left eye of the blue corner. Damas caballeros, después de consultar con el médico de turno, el referee Joe Cortez para la contienda por causa de una lesión sobre el ojo izquierdo de la esquina azul. El tiempo oficial, un minuto, 31 segundos del sexto asalto. The official time, one minute, 31 seconds of round number six, your winner. By way of technical knockout and still, the IBF flyweight champion of the world, Nonito, the Filipino Flash Donaire. Well, you know, the crowd's disappointed, and so is this man. I'm not you sure know. exactly what they're booing. Yeah, well, <laughs> they wanted to see it go on, but and I'm not saying Donaire did, but he would want a more convincing finish than that, guys. As we look at copy of box numbers, hey, the challenger hung right with the champion, and it'd be interesting to see how many rounds he could have won. I had the, had it three rounds to two. I would like to see a rematch of this, and maybe Metalani going a little yeah. more punches. You know, as the mandatory challenger, he didn't do anything to lose this fight, really. We Did take a look at those power punches. Uh, Nonito more than doubled the number of power punches that were landed there, and his power is greater than Eftalani's power. No doubt. But I think Eftalani made some uh, friends here tonight, don't you? Yeah, I, I agree. I, I, and it was inconclusive for everybody. But a yeah. guy travels halfway around the world for the first time and, you know, can't finish because